Alright guys, today is Monday. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys don't know who I am, today is a extensive tutorial. Um, it's a little bit more advanced, so if you don't understand what SVGs are, check out my what is the heck is an SVG video. If you don't know how to do single layer yet, check out my single layer SVG videos. And now we're ready to move on. As long as you know how to use Illustrator a little bit and you know what an SVG is, then you'll know what we're doing today. We're making a multi-layered SVG in Illustrator. This is definitely a video that is for my not newbies um, or somebody who's ready to dive into the Illustrator world and get a little bit more creative with creative with uh, their designing. So bear with this video if you're a newbie. Don't be afraid. I have lots of videos for you, okay? So check out my channel. Make sure to go to the playlist that says beginner tutorials. That's where you want to start. But if you're an advanced cricketer, I don't want to leave you guys out. I want to give you guys some fun stuff to do too. So this one is going to be pretty... Um, Designy. It might not be that hard for a lot of you guys, but just watch it again if you didn't understand it. And I hope that it really helps you guys. Um, if you this is really scary for you and you just like other people's designs, um, make sure to check out my Patreon page because I have like thousands of designs for you guys to be able to not only use but to sell things with those on. So check out my Patreon page. Um, if you want to get more information on that. Without that, uh, all that, let's get going into the tutorial and I hope this helps you and it's a really, really fun one. All right, let's go. I'm gonna teach you all about multi-layered SVGs and how to create one out of a JPEG or a PNG or an image that has more than a couple colors. So we're just gonna start with this Mickey and I'm just gonna drag him into Illustrator. And right now he is a png so he has no background but he does have all these little pieces and what i want to do is i want to create all of his pieces into um, layers so that when i take him into design space i can cut all of his layers out so what i'm going to do is just drag him in and then our first step um, is going to be to embed him and we are going to image trace him. Now I see one, two, three, four, five different colors I want. So make sure that you choose the background as a color as well. If it's a white background, that's a different color, but I think that it'll pick up his face and the background and make that one color. So we've got black, white, pink, a little bit reddish, and this tan color. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Black, white, pink, red, tan. Black, white, pink, red, tan. I think that's it. Five colors. Black, white, pink, red, tan. Okay, five colors. So what we're going to do so we're going to image trace this and I don't want to do six colors because I don't, there will actually be a six color in there and it might choose the Let's, let's not do six colors. So what I want to do is I'll start with six colors and then I'll go up to window and I will open the image trace window and what I want to do is I want to make this five colors. Okay, so we're going to image trace him with five colors. Now you'll notice when you do some of these image traces, see how it did do six colors? It did his face a cream and this a little bit of a white. Um, we want to do five colors so that we don't pick that color up or we can group that back together and make it a path. So now that we've image traced him with five colors, what we want to do, so you basically want to get him down to however many colors and layers you want to work with. So let me see if I do him in two colors, if that'll update. Oh yeah, okay, so that's kind of fun too if we want to do two layers, but let's do five layers because this is pretty advanced tutorial and I hope you guys can understand it. If you guys want to know how to do just single layers, check out my font video on how to make a single layer SVG. Okay, so it's picking up this white that looks separately. But okay, so once we have him um, image traced, what we're going to do is we're going to expand him. If you don't have that button, it's up in object expand right here and what expanding him does is it creates lines around all of the colors and it makes different paths now you'll notice that it probably turned the background into a color and now we have a background even though he was a png so now we want to go object ungroup and what that's going to do is it's going to make all of his pieces separated okay so i'm going to command z that because i don't want him to ungroup but all of his pieces are now able to be clicked 
separately. And what we want to do is we want to delete all the pieces we don't want. So we don't want this right here, but it is the same color as his face. So what we want to do actually is we want to get this piece of white right here. I want to get him down to, I'm going to bring him back to just an image because I want him to be, I guess, four colors. We don't want that white. Okay, so now that he's four colors, this white is included in here. And we can change it to cream later when we get rid of all of it. Okay, so now we're going to expand him again. We only have four colors on him. So it turned his tongue the same color as his, as his shoes. But since he'll be an SVG, we can change that later if we want to. So now we're going to select him all, object, ungroup, so that we get all of his little pieces. You can see his tongue is his own piece now. What we want to do is... Um, we want to keep some of these pieces together. So like his eye is a separate piece. First, let's delete his background. So I'm gonna select his background. And so you guys can see this, I'm gonna make a um, shape that is a color behind, behind him. So you guys can see that there actually is a, a background. I'm gonna move this to, um, why can't I, I'm just gonna right click, arrange, send to back. Okay, so you can see that there is this white background. I'm just gonna keep that square back there because, or that circle, it's a circle to me, uh, back there because you'll be able to see better what I'm talking about. There's this white background that was created and we're gonna delete it. So now you'll be able to see, like, and if you wanna move this circle, you can see like this little piece right here, I'm gonna delete, this little piece right here, I'm gonna delete. You can leave them in if you want those in your design, but I don't want them in my design. So you can kind of move this circle behind him Let's leave you there. Um, if you don't want him to move, you can un you can group him back together. However, the way that it's set up right now, it's literally going to send this. It would if we saved it as an SVG the way it is, it would send it to Design Space, and all these little pieces are gonna want to cut separately. So this little black piece is gonna want to cut separately. This little white piece, and all these would be laid out, and then you'd be left to reassemble it on your project not going to be fun so what we want to do is we want to take all the pieces that are the same colors and make them into one layer so let's start with the black because that's pretty self-explanatory so you can select anywhere on the black and most of him is one complete solid path so it did select all the black but it didn't select these guys because they're not connected so to get all the pieces of one color, you go to select, I know you guys can't see it, but it's up in the top, same fill color. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna pick up every piece of him that is black. And then what we're gonna do is command eight or control eight, depending on if you're on a PC. But just to let you guys know what command eight means, it is under object, path, um, under object, uh, image uh, paths. It it actually means compound compound path right here. Make so command eight is under compound path. So what it did was created one path. So when we send it to Cricut Design Space, it's going to cut like this. See, it's going to cut all those pieces. So I'm just going to move him over just so we can make sure we get all of our paths together. Um, so we can move this guy out. And now the red you might think is already done, but it's not. See, these pieces are separate. So let's let's select the red, select same fill color, and then command eight. So now this is one compound path. So we've got this piece of Mickey, this piece of Mickey. Um, now this, see, I like to keep the blue back there so I don't forget about the white, any white pieces. And sometimes it's easier to do the white pieces first. So I believe this is the only white we had, but let's just select same fill color. Oh no, so we have some more white. We have the white circles. Now, if you don't wanna waste space on your vinyl, you don't have to make this one complete solid piece. You can make these a piece and these a piece, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make his face. I'm just gonna make sure I I click command eight because you never know like sometimes it just won't come out the right way um, I'm gonna delete this because it's not a piece that I want right yeah so this is this is a white piece that comes around his foot I don't even want these so let's delete those out of our design okay so now we're left with this white and you can also shift click to select if you know exactly the pieces you want so I'm just gonna make them one complete 
pass, except I don't want to resize you. I want to move you over to here. Okay, and then, so now I'm going to keep um, this one separate, his tongue, because if I were to cut this on vinyl as one piece, yeah, it'll be in the perfect spot for him, but at the same time, it's going to take up a lot of this empty space on my vinyl. I don't want to deal with that. So this is going to be its own path, and I can actually change it to pink now if I want it to be pink. So let's just change it to pink so that it's a whole nother, and I'm going to command eight it just in case. It does clean up the path on the outside too. So now you'll see his shoes are all different pieces. We want to just click one piece of it, select same fill color, command eight. You could do one shoe in a layer and another shoe in a layer, but they're close enough together that I don't feel like it would waste too much product. So now you can move this guy around just to make sure you've got all the pieces and that's all good. So I could save this as an SVG, send this to Cricut Design Space just like this, and it'll be great and good to go. However, when you want to put your SVG back together so that it comes back in a group, I would just puzzle piece these back in, and I might have to zoom in to get his tongue where it's supposed to go. There we go. So you just move these back so that it's like one complete package when you send it back to um, to Design Space. All this is doing is just when you import it into Design Space, actually there's one more step we have to do is um, once we get these where they go, this will help you keep all your shapes the right size too. So now we want to select it all and we want to group it. Now grouping and compound paths are different. What this is going to do is it's going to now send it to Design Space as one complete object in the spots that it's supposed to be, but it's not going to, um, it's going to still have its compound paths separately. So now we're just going to file, save as Mickey SVG, or no, just Mickey, uh, Mickey, we'll do it, we'll call him Vintage Mickey. Vintage Mickey, um, and we wanna change this to SVG, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, and click OK. Then we're gonna go over to design.cricut.com, and we're gonna create, oh, well, not gonna create that project. We don't wanna learn more, that's why we're here, watching Aunt Tay's video. Okay, so we're gonna do a new project, I'm just gonna show you how this SVG works great. So we have Vintage Mickey SVG, okay? And the best thing about SVGs is they import super fast. And I'm just gonna show you how if we insert this into our project, he's now in all these fun layers and you can change the color, you can hide them, um, you can ungroup him. So if I clicked him and ungrouped him, I can move his little pieces around and he's super fun, okay? So, like I said, his shoes are one piece. If you didn't wanna waste this negative space right here, if you're kinda of like me sometimes and you don't like to waste product, you could have made this a com compound path and this a compound path. So if this was daunting to you, um, I would encourage you to start on my beginner illustrator tutorials. Um, but if this was fun, just let me know and don't be afraid. This is going to get easier for you guys and you'll start to really learn this stuff. Um, Illustrator can be kind of uh, exhausting, I guess, sometimes to start. But once you learn it, it's really fun and it's really the best way to do your designs. So make sure to check out my channel if you're new here. Um, subscribe. I put up cr uh, Cricut tutorials every Monday and a bunch of other random weird fun stuff on the rest of the days. All right. Love you guys. Bye.